looking forward to this yet another session of session in fifth one global oneness festival to celebrate Bhagavad Pad Acharya Shankaracharya Jayanti so I will start the session by prayer and Guru Vandana and a couple of verses attributable to Bhagavad Pad Adi Shankaracharya and a couple of verses attributable to his Paratpal Guru Guru Pad Acharya Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Om Purnamada Purnamidam शिव समारंभाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा आई एम वेरी ग्लैड टू टेक दिस टॉपिक ऑफ सृष्टि as per advaita siddhanta in the festival of oneness as a series of talks arranged by indic academy to remember and rejuvenate ourselves through pujya pada आदि शंकराचार्य अकॉर्डिंग टू अद्वैत सिद्धांता 
what is creation first we have to look into the shruti statements later how our bhashikara bhagavad pada has presented the topic of srishti in the shastra how he reconcile these are the areas we have to understand srishti is one of the main topic in our scriptural teaching सदैव सौम्य इदमग्र आसीत एकमेवाद्वितीय छांदोग्योपनिषत्तु हे श्वेतकेतु अद्वितीय ब्रह्म अस्त सदेव सौम्य हे सौम्य श्वेतकेतु सद अस्त सद्रह्म एलोन वज देर is there ever will be there advitiyam brahma when we listen to this statement we understand there is only non dual brahman the real brahman is the only substratum of this universe advayam brahma non dual secondless having said secondless no real entity is there in this universe upanishad introduce the second thing that srishti topic when it comes srishti means many names and forms once many names and forms are presented dvaitam comes duality has come in the same scriptures advaitam also highlighted and dvaita srishti also presented this is the most um, um, the typical <laughs> presentation where the seekers get a lot of um, no doubts confusion what is satyam then advayam brahma alone is satyam or dvaitam also nama roopa also fact can we say like that for that our great acharyas come to our rescue <laughs> how to present the sad swarupa brahma vakyani advayam brahma vakyani and srishti vakyani for that they have introduced a prakriya because vedic statements you cannot refute whatever veda presents we have to learn how to interpret properly वित् तात्पर्य लिंग उपक्रमोपसंहारो अभ्यासो अपूर्वता फलम अर्थवादोपत्ति लिंग तात्पर्य निर्णय उपनिषत् हेज कम टू एस्टाब्लिश अद्वय ब्रह्म नॉन् ड्यूअल ब्रह्म एज द जगदिष्ठान युवर रियल नेचर देर इज नो तात्पर्य in sushti the creation topic upanishad is not very much bothered about that srishti krama whether it is krama srishti or vyutkrama srishti or akrama srishti because the srishti vakyani there also again the question comes what is the order of this creation upanishad is not focusing on the order what are the srishti vakyani tasmad va etasmad atmana aakasha sambhutah aakashad vayuhu vayuragnihi agni rapah adhya prithvi 
पृथिव्या ओषधय ओषधिभ्योन्न अन्नापुरुषः सो तैत्री ओपनिषत् प्रेजेंट्स द क्रमसृष्टि फ्रॉम आत्मा स्पेस इज बॉन्ड फ्रॉम स्पेस एयर इज बॉन्ड फ्रॉम एयर फायर इज बॉन्ड फ्रॉम फायर वाटर इज बॉन्ड फ्रॉम वाटर अर्थ इज बॉन्ड बट इन छांदोग्योपनिषत् तत्जो असृजता तदक्षता फस्ट फायर इज बॉन्ड देन वाटर इज बॉन्ड देन अर्थ इज बॉन्ड इन तैत्रीय वी टेक् पंचीकरण ग्रॉसिफिकेशन इन छांदोग्य वी टेक् त्रिवृत्करण बिकाज थ्री एलिमेंट्स आर ओनली प्रेजेंट and if you see mundaka upanishad also there is no krama srishti tapasa chiyate brahma tatonnam abhijayate annat prano manas sat satyam lokah karma su chamritam like that upanishad is not consistent in the order of creation but how the acharyas justify the krama srishti tasma dva etasmat alone we will take for the sake of laya chintanam later for a mediocre student therefore taitriya upanishad krama srishti is highlighted by bhashyakara and acharyas present this adhyaropa apavada prakriya this srishti is introduced for the sake of madhyama adhikari a mediocre student there are below average student and average students and above average student above average student is not bother about creation much because he or she understands because of that uttama uttama adhikaritvam they are not very much involved in the creation topic but that is very very rare maximum seekers are average and below average even in advanced students also that is very difficult to understand prapanchopashamam upanishad has introduced everybody is happy yes everything is born out of ishvara so it is more comfortable and i feel more uh, it is a facilitating for a normal uh, ignorant uh, seekers but uh, same scriptures talk about uh, that nishedha apavada creation is an superimposition adhyaropa therefore they say adhyaropa apavada abhyam nishprapancham prapanchate sishyanam sukha bodhartham tatvagnehi kalpita kramah when upanishad is talking ekameva advitiyam and talking about uh, srishti dvaitam acharyas bring the balance by these are the statements upanishad is talking first is adhyaropa superimposition later negation also निषेध वाक्या आर् देर नेति नेति मूर्तामूर्त ब्राह्मण बृहदारण्य का ग्रॉस यूनिवर्स सटिल यूनिवर्स ऑल आर् रिफ्यूटेड नेगेटेड निषेध वाज डन नेह नास्ति किंचन देर इज नथिंग इन दिस यूनिवर्स अदर दैन ब्रह्मण ऐत्रेयोपनिषत् आलो सेस त्रयसथा जागृतवस्था स्वप्नावस्था 
and Sushupti Avastha, all these three are like a dream, Sopna. So you see the Upanishad, never talk about it is Adhyaropa, this is Apavada, Upanishad won't say. Acharyas, they come and help us, how you should understand the Advayam Brahma and Upan Srishti Vakyani and Nishedha Mukha Vakyani. It is our job to dwell upon the Veda Vakyams with the right interpretation, proper interpretation with the Tatparya Lingam. When the Upanishad is talking Nishedha Vakyani, Srishti Vakyani, the Srishti when the Srishti topic comes, we dwell upon that for some time. Then we will go to how the teaching Nishedha is presented. Later we will see. Sankhya philosophy, the 24 principles, because of many, many Acharyas, they take this Srishti as real. They present uh, 24 principles. Mahat, Prakriti, Mahat, Ahankara, all those things comes, we know in 13th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, also Bhagavan presents how the Srishti has come from those Chatur Vimshati Tattvani. And uh, Gaudapadacharya also writes uh, Srishti Vidaha, uh, 26 principles, 30 principles, 36 principles, like that go on and on about the Srishti. We take here two systems of philosophies, Nyaya Vaisheshika and Sankhya philosophy. Nyaya Vaisheshika is Asatkarya Vada. Asatkarya Vada means Arambha Vada. Whereas Sankhya philosopher takes Satkarya Vada, otherwise known as Parinama Vada. We accept Sankhya philosophers Parinama Vada or Satkarya Vada temporarily. On analysis we come to know Bhashyakara refutes the even Satkarya Vada is also a type of Asatkarya Vada only. In his commentary, on 48th verse of 18th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Pada deals with these two Satkarya Vada and Asatkarya Vada, refutes both of them. Adhyaropa Kali Satkarya Vada is okay. Arambha Vada is negated, refuted outright. Satkarya Vada, Parinama Vada, it is, we call it as uh, Mithya Vada. Even though we accept the temporarily, temporarily the Parinama Vada, Parinama of what? There comes uh, the Maya introduction. As uh, Bhagavad Pada says in Viveka Chudamani, about uh, Maya Avyakta Namni Paramesha Shiktihi Anadya Vidya Trigunatmika Para Karyanumeya Sudheva Maya Yaya Jagat Sarvam Idam Prasuyate. So Maya is introduced. In Tattva Bodha, also, all of you know that. Jagat, Ishvara and Jiva, all this, this triangular comes in the topic of Srishti. Karma Phala Data, Ishvara comes. Karma Phala Bhokta, Jiva comes. Jagat is the Bhogya Prapancha. So this Jagat and Jiva and Ishvara, they are, Acharya writes, in his Bhashyam. Actually, creation word is not correct word used by Vedantins. We use it as manifestation. Nothing newly created cannot be created. 
According to science also, matter cannot be created. Maya or Prakriti is matter. So creation, when it is started, you should not ask. It is not horizontal creation. It is only cyclic. As Krishna said in Bhagavad Gita, avyaktadini bhutani vyakta madhyani bharata. Manifestation to unmanifestation, unmanifestation to manifestation. This is what Sankhya philosopher also, Satkaryavada, that uh, abhivyaktihi, we accept that also. Temporarily, adhyaropa kale. Then, who is this jiva? Namarupa prapancha, five elements have come. Who is this jiva? For that also, um, Ishvara cannot, uh, Brahman cannot function without the help of Maya. So, Maya Sahitam Brahma Ishvara. So, Bhashikara writes in Sutra Bhashyam, Nahi Taya Vina Parameshasya Parameshwarasya Srashtrutvam Siddhati Shakti hi Shakti Rahitaha. Once that Shakti is not there, uh, that srishti cannot uh, take place. <coughs> uh, shakti rahitasya tasya pravurtasya anupapatte he. See how beautifully Bhashyakara writes. Mayopadhisan atma ishvara ityuchate. All of you know that. This maya upadhi is uh, discussed in uh, Sutra Bhashyam also. So, Jagat is uh, taken as uh, a Lakshakam. Brahman is Lakshitam. Indicator. Universe is an indicator. Body is an indicator. So, that uh, Tatastha Lakshanam. Tatastha Lakshanam is an indicator. The Kakavat Griham Devadatta Griham. All of you know that. So Kakavat Griham is a Lakshanam. That Kakavat is Lakshakam. Devadatta Griham is the Lakshitam. Indicated. Always indicators something, they give knowledge. The indicator, crow, crow, kaka means crow, gives, it is an indicator of Deva Datta Griham. That is the Lakshana. So, Lakshanam, Lakshakam, Lakshitam. Similarly, Jagat is Nama Rupa Prabancha is a Lakshanam, that Jagat Lakshakam and Brahman is Lakshitam. For Madhyama Adhikari, when Guru teaches Tatutvam Asi, not able to claim I am Brahman, here, now itself, there is no doubt in that. But it is not uh, easy for everyone. Therefore, Upanishad, out of compassion, Acharyas are also out of compassion, they come down to the level of the student and uh, gives a lot of um, uh, shlokas to understand how the Paramarthika Satyam Brahma Chaitanyam and Vyavaharika Ishvara Jagat Jiva. <coughs> Even Ishvara is not Vyavaharika Satyam, further we go to Pratibhasika Satyam. So, Upanishad is not bother about that. Upanishad has come to teach only Advayam Brahma. Therefore, Shankaracharya writes, Who is Jiva in Chandogya also, 6th chapter, 3rd section, 2nd mantra, he writes, what is, Who is Jiva? Who is this individual? Upadhi matra nibandhanatvat Jiva bhavasyad. Upadhi Matra. This is the Upadhi. 
ಅವಿದ್ಯೋಪಾಧಿ ಸನ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಜೀವ ಇತ್ಯುಚ್ಯತೆ ದ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಹಂ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಐ ಅಲೋನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಜೀವ ನಾಮರೂಪ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ನಾಮರೂಪ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಇನ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಾದ ನೈನ್ತ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ರೈಟ್ಸ್ ಯೋ ಜಲಬಿಂದು ಇವ ಜಲರಾಶೇ ಸತ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಸಂಪರ್ಕಾತ್ ಜೀವ ಉಪಚರ್ಯತೆ ಜೀವ ಇತಿ ಉಪಚರ್ಯತೆ ಉಪಚರ್ಯತೆ ನಾಟ್ ಟ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ ಅಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ ಅಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹೌ ದಿ ಅದ್ವೈತ ವೇದಾಂತ presents this mithya is introduced <coughs> paramarthika satyam brahma alone is that anadhigata abhaditam satyam brahma is there aparokshatva siddhyartham chit swarupam uchyate sarvagata siddhyartham ಸತ್ಸ್ವರೂಪಂ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ಪುರುಷಾರ್ಥತ್ವ ಸಿದ್ಧ್ಯರ್ಥ ಆನಂದತ್ವ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಪಾನ್ ದಟ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ನಾಮರೂಪಾಯಿ ಸೂಪರ್ ಇಂಪೋಜ್ ಜಗತ್ ನಾಮರೂಪಾಯಿ ಸೂಪರ್ ಇಂಪೋಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜೀವ ನಾಮರೂಪ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಂಪೋಜ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ನಾಮ ರೂಪ ಈ ಸೂಪರ್ ಇಂಪೋಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೇಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಉಪಾಸನ ಥ್ರೂ ಉಪಾಸನ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಫೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಸೇಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಉಪಾಸಕ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಗೀತಾ ಶಂಕರ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಸತ್ ದೇಹಾದೇಹೆ ದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಅಸತ ಭಾವ ನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ಅಸತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಸತ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನ್ರಿಯಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ರಿಯಲ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸತ್ ಅನ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅನ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಎಗೇನ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಟೂ other than advaita siddhanta or advaitin all for all systems of philosophies there are only two sat and asat real and unreal example for real is sat brahma only brahman is example for reality real for asat there are two again ತುಚ್ಛ ಅಸತ್ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ಅಸತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಯುನೀಕ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯುನೀಕ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಅಸತ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಟು ತುಚ್ಛ ಅಸತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ಅಸತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡು ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಮೈ ತುಚ್ಛ ಅಸತ್ ದಟ್ ಹುಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಟರ್ನಲಿ ನಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಹುಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಟರ್ನಲಿ ನಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ rabbit horn rabbit horn doesn't exist kha pushpam sky flower doesn't exist they are called tucham permanently non existent so sat and tucham these two only are known to the people world but advaitin approach is um, there is something else which is neither sat nor tucham sada sat vilakshanam is there anirvachaniyam sat asat vilakshanam other than sat and other than asat there is in between intermediary asat that is what acharya quotes in 16th verse nasato vidyate bhavah ಅಸತಃ ದ್ವಂದ್ಯ ಅಸತಃ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ನಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ 
body mind complex mithya asat seemingly existent it is not sat like brahman jagat ishvara and jeeva three are not like brahman sat they are not tucham like rabbit horn they come in between category that is why we call three orders of reality paramarthika satyam vyavaharika satyam and pratibhasika satyam pratibhasika satyam subjective reality vyavaharika satyam objective reality and paramarthika satyam brahma is absolute reality unless i understand this i am not able to do prapanchopashamam mandukyopanishad 7th mantra says nanta pragnam na bahish pragnam no bhayata pragnam na pragnam na pragnam prapanchopashamam shantam shivam acharya comments upon that prapanchopashamam abhavah mithya ityartha that falsification of this uh, universe is very very important as aitare upanishad says they also come under a dream adavante cha yan nasti vartamane api tattatha vithadai sadrsha santaha avitatha iva lakshitaha for that acharya bhashyakara writes vithatha eva tathapi avitatha eva lakshitaha anatma vidbihi nar moodhaihi anatma vidbihi lakshitaha nar ignorant people consider the unreal universe as real vitadha eva it is unreal it is mithya seemingly real it is neither tucham nor satyam it is sadasad vilakshanam anirvachaniyam adhyasavada we call it as adhyasavada or mithyavada or ajatiwada very very terse portion in scriptural teaching one day or other the student or seeker has to come and understand there is no compromise in this fact has to be revealed to everyone everyone has to grasp this teaching everyone has to work for that for clarity bhashyakara writes in veka chudamani beautiful shloka sannapya sannapya bhayatmika no भिन्नाप्य भिन्नाप्य भयात्मिका नो सांगाप्य नंगाप्य भयात्मिका नो महाद्भुता निर्वचनीय रूप अनिर्वचनीय रूप दिस माया यू कैनाट से इट इज देर इट इज नॉट देर यू कैनाट से मै डियर देर फॉर अद्वैत इन इज वेरी कंफर्टबल इन टॉकिंग अबउट अद्वितीय ब्रह्म एंड comfortable in introduce the universe also comfortable in srishti vakyams also and comfortable in nishedha mukha vakyams also this is the facility beautiful facility for the sake of laya chintanam for madhyama adhikari it is presented when we come to vedanta sada sad vilakshanam mithya ಅಧ್ಯಾರೋಪಕಾಲೆ ವಿ ಇಂಟ್ರಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾರಣ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಕಾರಣ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಲಕ್ಷಕ ಲಕ್ಷಿತ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಲಕ್ಷಕ ಲಕ್ಷಕ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ವಾಟ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಲಕ್ಷಿತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಈಸ್ my own nature chaitanyam brahma aham asmi brahma aham asmi i cannot be other than brahman very difficult to be uh, as other than brahman for a wise person 
body mind complex continues after knowledge also swapna may not continue even though the whole world is like a swapnam another dream but it is not uh, so easy to swallow this fact laya chintana krama for the sake of that meditation nididhyasana and samadhi abhyasa roopa nididhyasana when he is doing laya chintana krama so he has to dissolve the earth into waters waters into fire fire into air air into space space into atma tattvam that existence consciousness principle is the satyam brahma aham asmi sadrupena chidrupena aham asmi i am not uh, asat tuch asat ar mithya asat mithya asat is a lingam lingyate anena iti lingam it is an indicator body is an indicator world is an indicator ishvara of course for upasana purpose we introduce like scaffoldings paramarthananda swami ji always says it is like a scaffolding or like a cup you use to drink milk use the cup intelligently drink the milk enjoy the payasam <laughs> and uh, through the cup leave it then what then what there is no use no more you don't carry that cup again and again that's why the reality in duality you have to take out experientially world continues to be there world has got utility also because world has got utility experienceability tangibility variety therefore it is real you cannot say it is an optical illusion for an ignorant person lakshitah means acharya said what moodhaihi anatma vidbihi lakshitah unintelligent people atma true nature who do not know they consider this universe as real and its afflictions are also real then samsara continues what is moksha indika moksha is there our title of this advaita academy indika moksha what is moksha moksha means nothing but understanding my real nature as sat chit ananda swarupa body mind complex is uh, oh lakshakam indicators sh- to show my real nature tatvagnehi kalpita kramah adhyaropa apavada apavada kale that negation time na nirodhah na cha utpatti na baddhah na cha sadhakah na mumukshuh na vai muktah iti esha paramarthata the ultimate reality is only knowing that i am free ever free atma swarupam i was not bound i am not bound i cannot be bound but this body mind complex as long as i give importance reality to this reality to this duality there will be a conflict in human mind the clarity has to come in one's own intellect moksha means freedom from freedom from samsara samsara means i have birth 
I have death, I have punya, papa, karma. Once you understand the lakshartha of Ishvara, lakshartha of jiva is nothing but chaitanya. Upon chaitanyam alone, everything is superimposed, adhyaropa. Temporarily we take. Now, the more, now present trend, you know, yesterday only we got results. Hmm? That uh, party, ruling party has to take the help of uh, other parties to form a government. Temporarily we have to take. Hmm? If I say this example, you understand very well. <laughs> hmm? Temporarily they have to take. It does not mean their ideology and uh, this uh, ruling party ideology are one and the same. But you have to take temporarily Satkarya Vada, like <laughs> you have to take. And we have refuted Nastika Vadas, you know, and opposition parties, Nastika Vadas, we have refuted outright in the beginning itself. Hmm? It is my personal opinion, expression, just like that. Don't take literally, okay? <laughs> this Satkarya Vada, Arambha Vada, Parinama Vada are only, Arambha Vada outright we have refuted. Even Parinama Vada temporarily taken for time being until the seeker is able to walk without any uh, support. For that time being, Adhyaropa. Abhavada Abhyamana <coughs> by negation. Therefore, there is no any contradiction or inconsistency in the scriptural teaching. There is no inconsistency. There is a consistency. Samanvaya is there. That Samanvaya to understand the seeker has to dwell upon that Bhashyam of Acharya. How beautifully Acharya presents um, this Adhyaropa and Apavada, that Mithya Vada is very, very important for uh, Advaitin. Sadasad Vilakshanam is very important. Sat Asat only other systems, even for Visishta Advaiti, Swapna is also real. <laughs> what to talk of Vyavaharika Jagat, it is much more real for them. All systems of philosophies we have to study to understand how Advaita Vedanta alone is um, final. Not just for refutation, refuting sake we are studying Dvaita, Visishta Dvaita, Sankhya, Nyaya, all these systems. If you understand little bit, you understand how great Advaita Vedanta that alone is the truth, Bhashyakara, um, in all his Bhashyams, how much he presents that. You understand the Hridayam of Adi Shankaracharya. Tatpari Lingam he brings out in that. In Sutra Bhashyam also, Gita Bhashyam also, Upanishad Bhashyam also, everywhere, that Prapanchopashamam is very important. Jiva, Jagat, Ishvara. Three are introduced. We should not get stuck with that. Layachintana Kramaha. Shishyana Sukha Bodhartham. Adi Maraka Kuda. We should not forget that. At the same time, you have to recognize the role of Ishvara in one's life. As a jiva, the body, jiva is none other than the upahita chaitanyam, he is available, I, the atma, I am available in this body. That karya karanam, we introduce karyam first. Known to unknown, what is known? Everybody knows the world is there in front of me. I am experiencing the universe, there is lot of utility is there, beauty is there, variety is there. 
how can i say this universe is unreal it is impossible not only impossible it is wrong also people say but what upanishad is teaching neeti neeti traya swapnaha aitreya says and hada vante cha yan nasti na prapancho pashamam upashamam that upashamam is nothing but falsification of the nama roopa utilizing that karanam brahma status we give brahman karanam status for jagat karyam karanam brahma is ishvara brahman is akaranam originally speaking ishvara is lakshyartha ishvara is nirakara lakshyartha of jiva chaitanya is nirakara formless that form is given temporarily for jiva and ishvara the chaitanyam that reflected consciousness that process and all you know i don't want to uh, dwell upon that karyam jagat is introduced for brahman karanam status we have given temporarily acharya presents in one shloka beautifully ekameva sadaneek karanam karanantara nirasa karanam karya karana vilakshanam yat brahma tattvam asi bhavayatmani in ghatabashyam brahadaranyaka upanishad introduction acharya writes introduce the pot pot is the karyam people think what is this part a simple thing no there is a lot of teaching in this rajju sarpa marriage water shell silver all are called adhyaropa adhyaropa means you superimpose the snake upon the rope as long as you are mistaking the rope as snake you cannot see the rope rope knowledge is required to falsify the snake shell knowledge is required to falsify the silver desert knowledge is required that sand knowledge to falsify the marriage water so adhyasa there is superimposition erroneous perception whole universe is an erroneous perception you can make use of it but you should not give reality to that that is called prapancho upashamam where prapancha is dissolved in the mind of such a wise person it is there for appearance but not there really so this karyam ghata karya ghata introduced by acharya ghata is karyam product what is satyam clay is satyam so karanam status we have given to the clay karanatvam status is given to the clay pot is karyam because pot alone is known known to unknown pot is known but what is unknown karanam mrid is unknown vedanta comes to that introducing the pot karyam to take you to that karanam clay na so you understand what is the karanam clay is the karanam once you understand the clay is karanam then what is our job we say there is no pot vacharam bhanam vikaro namadheyam mrittika ityeva satyam it is only a lip movement what pot vikaraha modification abhivyakti it is really not there once karyam is negated 
then Karanam status automatically goes away. Ishvara, Karanatvam, the Brahma Karanatvam also goes away. Because once you falsify the universe, the purpose of Ishvara, you attain as an Upasaka, meditator, uh, take that phalam from the Lord, karma phalam, then shiyanti uh, asya karmani tasmin drishti paravare. Once you understand your real nature, by Guru Kripa, Shastra Kripa, Atma Kripa, Ishwara Kripa, then you can remove the Karanatvam status. Like that part Karanatvam status you have taken in Vakya Vritti Acharya writes, Karanatvam status of Brahman also taken out once Jagat is like a Karyam, pot like Jagat universe is falsified. Once you falsify that, Karanatma status of Brahman also taken out. Brahman is not Karanam. Brahman is not Karanam. Brahman cannot be Karanam. Then what is this Karanatma status? For your sake, my dear, introduce it temporarily. There is no pot at all. Once pot is not, where is the causality of the clay? Causality has also gone, disappeared. Understanding. Similarly, as long as you see the Jagat as real, Ishwara as Karanam, Brahman as Ishwara, Maya, Sahitam, Brahma is introduced. Once you understand Ishwara's real nature and Jagat is a real nature also, Sat, Chit, Anandam, Brahma, Jiva, nature is also Satchit, Ishwara, nature is also Satchit, Jagat, uh, Aparokshatva Siddhyartham Chit Swarupam Uchyate. Sarvagata Siddhyartham, Brahman is Sarvagatam, Sadrupam, Satswarupam Uchyate. Purushartha Siddhyartham, Anando Brahmi Tivya Janat, I am Ananda Swarupam. To recognize that Purushartha Siddhartham Anandatvam Uchyate Satchidananda Swarupaha Aham Brahma Asmi. Therefore, as per Advaita Siddhanta, Srishti is only a temporary Adhyaropa given for the sake of mediocre student. Then the student become refined, mature, 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 having got the benefit of this um, Lakshakam Jagat and that Lakshitam is owned up, Lakshitam Brahma. Then this Jagat, Ishwara and Jiva Shariram, the purpose is served over. There is no more prayojanam for that. So this is the beauty of Advaita Siddhanta while talking about the Srishti. 24 principles, whatever principles, whatever you take, all are only for teaching purpose at the time of Adhyaropa. We need not bother about too much about the Krama or Vitkrama or Akrama Srishti and all. Don't probe too much into that. Understand the Prakriyas, Avasthatraya, um, Prakriya and Panchakana Kosha, Prakriya and Drishdrishya Viveka, Prakriya and Adhyaropa Apavada. All these are beautiful methods, methodology given to us. With the help of Gurus, we have to receive this teaching and own up and claim and uh, propagate this Adi Shankaracharya's beautiful Advaita Siddhanta is not belong to Adi Shankaracharya. Adi Shankaracharya brought out that uh, um, what is the purport of the scriptures, Tatparya Lingam. What is the Tatparyam? Then only you can attain that uh, Advaita Jnana. That is the ultimate uh, purushartha, that is real moksha. Understanding that there is nothing else is required 
other than understanding this is called real knowledge with this i conclude the topic of srishti creation within court is manifestation as per advaita siddhanta thank you so much thank you thank you so much nate dvaitan navidyate maya martam idam dvaitan advaitam parmatma swagale satyavad bhati prabodha samaya satbhoji that is a beautiful lecture covering this rishti advaitam thank you very much thanks once again sashtanga dandavati Viewers, in the evening we have yet another session by Ramamohan Subramanian. Please join in the. Evening.